Welcome to the summit. Thanks for stopping by. Today, our guest is Heath Gray, National Wrestler of the Year from the University of Central Oklahoma Broncos. And Heath, uh, congratulations. A great honor from the NWCA. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate you for having me on. Listen, I, I know you wrestle at 184. You went 29 and 1 this season, a fantastic season. And you were one of six wrestlers of the year in your regions, respective regions. You were the top of those six regions. Uh, you won not only your uh, bracket 184 and Super Region 4, but then you go into the national tournament or what would have been the national tournament as the number one seed. Talk about what it means to earn the top seed in the country. Oh, you know, to walk into nationals being the number one seed, you know, that's huge. It's a huge uh, motivator. You know, you really want to go out there and you want to perform well. And, you know, you want to go out there and you want to prove a point, you know, because sometimes, you know, just because you're the number one seed doesn't mean you're necessarily going to win the tournament. You know, it right. kind of almost puts a chip on your back thinking, you know, hey, I got to go out here, you know, wrestle with some intensity, wrestle with some passion and motivation and to show why they put me as the number one seed and why I'm about to go win this national tournament. <laughs> I definitely understand. Uh, going into that super regional tournament, the Broncos finished as a team as runners up to McKendry. Now you won your weight, of course, for the second straight season. Talk about the team effort this year. Oh, it, you know, it's a huge team effort. You know, uh, really a lot of people say that, you know, wrestling out, oh, you know, it's a solo sport, but you know, when you get in that tournament setting, that's really when, you know, you start to feel the team aspect and you have to have every single guy, you know, showing up, wrestling the right way. And, you know, like you said, we were runners up. Uh, we were so close to placing first at the regional tournament. Uh, we had six placers, uh, or I'm sorry, eight placers, I believe, maybe even nine, but only six of those went to the national tournament because three of them, three or two, I can't remember the exact number, placed fourth. And we were only about four points behind McKendry, who got first. And, you know, we win one more match. You know, we get another guy in the semis. Uh, you know, it changes the changes up the whole dynamic of the tournament. And, you know, we're just so close. And, you know, I'm really excited for, you know, next year as, you know, everybody's going to be a year older coming up in my senior year. And, you know, I think you're going to see even bigger things happen for the Broncos next year. <laughs> Looking forward and looking forward to seeing that as well. You know, you're right. I mean, just one match going one different direction and, and it turns things around. So uh, props to what the, the Broncos have done this year. Let's talk about your Super Region tournament really quickly. You earned a bye in the first round. You get a fall in the quarterfinals, a four-point decision in the semis, and then a, a tough victory in that 184 bracket. Talk about winning your region again. Oh, you know, it's you know, it's just really, you know, really gratifying to win it, um, you know, of course, I, you know, walking into the nat or in the regional tournament, I had, you know, full faith in myself that I was going to do that. Uh, you know, semi matches, semi match, uh, been a little harder than I thought it was. Turned out to be a real barn burner uh, in the finals. But you know, I kept my composure. You know, it was close going to the third. I believe it was tied up one one. And you know, I just had faith in myself, faith in my abilities, and the training I've had all year long. And you know, I just knew it was going to work out. Got a 3-1 victory, by the way, in the final 184 in Super Region 4. As we're talking now with Heath Gray on the summit, and I do invite everyone to like and share this video, please, and please do subscribe to this channel, Midwest Sports Net. And as we visit now with Heath Gray, 29-1 and again on the season. Your only loss was to Division I competition, but then after that loss, 28 consecutive wins. How about that? A 28-match winning streak. Heath, go, what goes into winning 28 in a row? I, that's not easy no matter what you do. Um, yeah, it's really not too easy. Um, you know, it's for me, it's just being consistent. It's, it's not just practice when it comes to wrestling. You have to train. And what I mean by that and what they mean by that is, you know, you can't just, you know, show up and be locked in for two hours of practice. It's you have to be locked in, have wrestling on your mind, you know, from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. You know, for me, uh, I wake up every morning, you know, I try to be real consistent, wake up at six o'clock, I'm lifting, you know, training, go to practice, maybe get an extra workout sometime. So I'm usually averaging two or three workouts a day. And the time I'm not working out, you know, I'm thinking wrestling, thinking how I can improve my wrestling, you know, and just every little thing. And, you know, I've always said I'm not the greatest wrestler, maybe not the best clinician, but what sets me apart from everybody else is my willingness to train, go the extra mile, and I wholeheartedly believe that no one outworks me in the country. And, you know, obviously we didn't get the national tournament. 
I felt like I was going to go prove something, but you know, I felt like I was right there and I was about to win the national championship. Unfortunately, you know, COVID-19, <laughs> COVID-19 struck us. No one was prepared for it. And you know, that's how those things go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really, I know, disheartening not to get the opportunity to, uh, to go for that championship. However, I, I commend you then for being named the National Wrestler of the Year. And so there, there is some recognition for what you've done this year. He, you know, obviously not too many people get to go into this sports hiatus that we're in right now on a 28-match winning streak. But I, you're, you're doing other things. What are you doing right now to, uh, uh, to take care of yourself? Obviously, I, I know you're getting to get in a little bit of work, not only working out, but obviously work as well to uh, take care of the other things in life. Right. Well, you know, as far as, you know, ath- athletic wise goes and wrestling, you know, um, we have some great alumni here at UCO. So there's a couple that have, you know, wrestling mats at their homes. I've been able to go and train there. I have some weights in my garage. So still being, you know, be able to stay strong. Uh, you know, one of our coaches would put us on a running regimen. So I'm getting a lot more, uh, you know, a lot more cardio than I'm usually used to because I don't have to supplement <laughs> that running because I'm not getting all the wrestling, which is usually where most of my cardio comes from. And, you know, the sports hiatus, you know, you have to, you have to find the good and the um, you know the good in every bad situation and you know wrestling it's just a grueling sport you know it takes a lot out of your body so you know this time it's uh, been really good to rehab you know get my body feeling better near the end of the season you're starting to feel pretty wore out and you know this break has really allowed me to uh, build my body back up so I'll be feeling good and prepared whenever we get to start up again. Well, let's talk about that then as we we wind up our time together today. Now you're a two-time All-American, so you're headed into your season, senior season. Obviously, you know, still a little bit of a uh, feeling, I'm sure, of unfulfillment because of the national tournament. Talk about your goals then going into next year. Uh, well, definitely unfinished business. Uh, you know, I kind of said this at the start of last year, and, you know, the goals are probably going to be pretty close to the same. Uh, you know, last year I was saying um, – I will win a national championship. I know that it's a given. I'm going to make it happen. But the ultimate goal for me is to help, you know, win, have UCL win a team title because it's been, what was the 2007 was the last time. So it's going to be 13, 14 years since UCO has last won a team title. And, you know, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that I win that national championship. But what's even more important to me is helping and to make sure that UCO brings the team title and that's, you know, making sure all of our guys are doing the right thing, thing, training the right way, treating their bodies healthy, eating the right things, everything possible to ensure that UCO brings a national title next year. Great goals, great goals all the way around. I I know you've achieved some of them already this year. And again, can I I add one more goal? You sure may. (laughs) Well, as you're saying, you know, 21, 29 and one, last year a great record but you know or 28 and one i can't remember um i think 29 <laughs> 29 definitely yeah. the goal is to go undefeated next year i haven't had an undefeated season but also you know if going undefeated i want to you know end up uh with the most the winningest most record in uco history and if i haven't uh, undefeated like i will season like i plan to next year uh, i should be able to walk away with that wow and, you know, I know that you know this, and, and I'm sure a, a lot of the folks that, that will watch this know this as well. UCO is quite a school with a great wrestling history, and, and if you want to be up there among those top, I know that's a, that's a fantastic goal. Well, it's a, it's a grind, and, you know, but I believe I can do it. I have, I have faith in my coaches. I have faith in myself, you know, my teammates, the ones who will get me prepared, you know. Kind of like I said on earlier, you know, it's not just a solo sport because there's so many people that – put in to help you reach your own personal goals and like and your teammates your coaches your parents you know everybody you can't do it by yourself so right you know, i have faith in all those that are uh, that are around me and going to help push me on the way all right well then good luck for for you next year and success to you and to the uco program we get through this time and and uh, we look forward to getting hopefully to visit with you again and talk about this and and uh, see how those uh, those plans worked out heath gray here on the summit. Thank you, sir, for taking time with us today. Oh, thank you, Joey. I appreciate it. Appreciate Heath. And I appreciate all of you for watching today. Again, please do like and share this video. Please do subscribe to the channel Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Have a great day. God bless you. You as well.